Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get started setting up our permanent base, our first permanent base. We're going to have multiple. Uh, that is the plan, anyways. And uh, so, uh, where to start? <laughs> There's got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, okay, so let's just grab stuff we're going to need for uh, setting up the f initial structures. And we're going to leave all of this stuff here for the moment. And just pick up a bunch of iron, titanium, silicon, and whatnot along the way. Uh, one thing I noticed is that I don't have the four compartment structure, which I think we get from um, a blueprint chip, a microchip. Um, so I kind of wanted to to start with those, but the only way that's going to happen is if we go. One thing, okay, here's one thing we could do. We could go hit the, the big ship out in the desert there and only loot the blueprint chips, you know, the small cases and not the other stuff. That might be worth doing because um, I really would, you know, what I don't want to do is I don't want to set up everything with the small compartments and then have to redo it later because that's just a pain in the ass uh, to do that. So why don't we, yeah, why don't we do that? Um, And because, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to set up a shack over there too, and we'll just keep it over there. Uh, so I'm going to need some more iron. we got enough titanium. We'll just need some, two more iron and two, one more silicon. Right. Okay. Um, let's see. The food is at 84%. Let's go ahead and use the eggplant to top off we'll save the higher level food for later and I want to make another water as well so I'll just go grab a piece of ice from somewhere I ended up putting um, this little shack here because it's more or less the halfway point between um, our old base and our new base, which is going to be built right over there. Oh, nice. We got the grass spreader. Um, So, yeah, we won't be moving. In fact, you know, I never even set up the tier three veggie tubes, and I don't think I will now because um, the grass spreaders are way better than the veggie tubes. Uh, so we'll, yeah, we'll set those up. Okay. Let's drink that water. We'll make another one, and then we're going to head over to the big ship, and we're only going to loot... The blue, uh, the blue chips. Well, yeah, they are blue, but the microchips, in hopes that we can unlock the, uh, the four section building. Okay, so we got O2, we got water, we got some of the stuff we're gonna need to make the thing, uh, the next shed. Let's head on over there, and see if we can get enough microchips to get that four compartment building. Cause I'd like to just start with that and not uh, have to redo it later. If we don't get what we need from this ship, then we'll go hit the one way over to the east, um, way over that direction as our next one. Let's grab this and this. Uh, this re the rest of that stuff we can leave in there for now. This is, this might be the largest, actually the largest sh shipwreck in the game, unless they added some new ones. It, this play, this thing's huge. We need another iron to make that. Come on, Iron, where you at? There we go. I think I'll make another O2. 
Of course, the, the procedural wrecks, which we won't get to for a long time yet, those are way bigger than any of these wrecks here in the normal world. Um, and they can also be quite challenging to find your way around in, too. But that's what they're designed for. Okay, so we got an extra water. We're really good on food. Again, we're only looking for microchips for now. One of the things that the microchips will get us too is a better flashlight. So this flashlight kind of sucks. All right, here's one right here. And we can pick up these seeds too. There's no, th those aren't going to change no matter what. So we might as well pick them up. We want eggplant more for fertilizer than we do for food. I mean, we need it for food right now, but later on, uh, we're going to want it for fertilizer. Okay, so let's see. We came down that ladder. Uh, let's go this way. It's just, okay. Oh, nice. Bean seed. That's the best uh, basic food in the game. Plus, we need it to make the, oh, nice. Uh, the really good food later on. That was worth coming down here for just by itself. Okay, good. Here's another microchip. We're going to leave those for later. Okay, let's run down here real quick. We'll leave those for later. There's uh oh, look at that, a golden seed. Nice. Uh, a rocket and some squash seed. Yeah, we'll take all of that. Because that stuff, like I said, that isn't going to change no matter how late the game is. So we might as well grab it now. Then we can have tons of food. Having tons of food is a good thing. I don't think we're going to make it back out of here. Where we have to get some air. Especially if I get stuck like this. Nope, too late. That's okay. If I hadn't got stuck, uh, we could have made it, but... Not a big deal. All right, let's just make a locker. That's a nice hole right then and there. Okay. Let's go back in. Go down. So we checked everything there. We checked everything down here. We're going to leave those two crates for later. Let's go back down this way and look one last time. Got everything out of here. And we're leaving the crates for later. Can we open that? Nope. There's some more seeds. Good. Nice, more beans. Love it. Okay, so I think that's it for this compartment here. Let's go back out, replenish our air, and then we'll go check the other side. Uh, there there uh, are more areas to these ships then uh, we can check early on, too. So they're they're bigger than they first appear. Uh, but we can only get to certain parts of it at the beginning of the game. That goes in here. See, that door might open up for us later after we get some fusion cells. Take that down. Oh, wow, look at this. Nol Nolnas, Lermas. Don't remember precisely if that was in the earlier game, but maybe they were. They probably were.
No seed. A rocket, a squash, and a squash. Yes. All right. I have another O2 bottle, right? Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is what we're looking for. Pastera, a Tusca, Pastera, and a Nolna. There's nothing back there. All right, we got a ladder going up, but we need to go. Let's go get some more O2 before we do that. Look at all that stuff, man. That's awesome. What do I need to make um, a blueprint screen? I just need an iron and a silicon. Let's make another one of these. And go find a, a silicon. There's one right there. Oh. Gotta make sure we get the whole thing there. We have three blueprints, T2 mining, T3 mining, and the recycle machine. Okay, all good stuff. Not what we're looking for at the moment, but good stuff nonetheless. Let's go back in and do one last check. We have that uh, upper area that we can go to. But the thing is, is the blueprint uh, or the microchips happen in sequence. So even if we don't get the four compartment building, we're getting closer to it each time we, you know, we, we uh, uh, consume one of those. I think we checked everything back in here. Okay, let's go up here. Uh... Yeah, wait. Did we come back down? I, th I think we came back down. Get away from that thing, okay. Another rocket engine. Here we go. All right. Now, later on, when we make fusion cells, we can pop one in here and it'll open up more of the ship for us with really good loot. But that's going to be a little while before we can do that. Lerma seed. Beans. Finding all these beans is amazing, man. Not that, you know, we were already in good shape for food, but now we're in really good shape for food. Okay, let's take that. All right, I think that's all we can do in this ship for now. Let's go do this blueprint uh, microchip. And if it doesn't give us what we need, then we'll go hit that other ship. I, and only get the microchips. Mm, we need that too, actually. That's not what I was looking for, but we do need that as well. All right, I'm going to leave all of this stuff here. And I'll come back for it later. We don't need any of it immediately, except for maybe that piece of iron. Um... And we need to make another water, but there's no ice around here. But we're we'll be fine to get over to the to the starter area. All right, so let's head on over that direction. I will grab the stuff we need to make another hut, just so we have it. Let's see. We want to go this direction. Four iron, yeah, okay, we have everything. I'm gonna grab an ice so we can make another water when we get to our first little base. Uh, which is actually gonna be this way. Uh, 
We already cleaned out this first ship, so we'll go hit the one that's way over that direction. You know, there's not really any reason to keep these here because we're done with this ship. There's... Uh, except for getting some circuit boards from it later, so maybe I'll leave one of those there. Alright. That looks cool at nighttime, man. Check that out. It's awesome. You know what? We're kind of... Just realize we're not in the best shape on food at the moment. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna cut the camera. I'm gonna go back to the main base and grab some food. We'll probably we'd probably be okay, but again, I don't want to risk it. So I'll meet you guys uh, up at that ship way over there. Okay, let's take this water. And uh, I want to make another blueprint screen, so we need an iron and a silicon. Go explore. Again, only after microchips. We'll leave the chest for later. There's one in there. we can take apart. All right, that's it for that area. Let's go left first. This stuff apart. Tier two heater, that's nice. There's another one there. I have an O2 on me, right? Okay, I think that's it. Let's read this. Cargo ship Cerulea 4, machinery log number 436. This morning on our 17th day of space travel to Stigmar, the ship inexplicably exited hyperspace velocity. The navigation tools went crazy and the ship lost power as if it had been drained by some exterior thing. We need to stop and take this. We are going to try and make an emergency landing on this unreported planet. I'm not sure what we'll find. There seems to be a huge storm on the surface of this planet. I hope we make it. All right, we will find out later as the story progresses why that happened, but I'm not gonna say anything right now. We'll have to let it happen when it happens. I guess that's all we can do over on this side. We did have one other side over here that might have another microchip in it. Let's take a look-see. No, just some normal chests. All right. Okay. Well, let's see. We got two. Let's see what these do for us. Shredder machine. 
And a GPS satellite. All right, that's still not what we're looking for. Good stuff. We we like those things, just not what we wanted at the moment. Um. The next two ships I can think of are quite a ways away from here. There's one in the lava biome and one way the hell back over by the waterfall in the south west no southeast part of the map hmm that would be quite a trek i mean we could certainly do it but all right let me um let me weigh my options and i'll let you guys know what i decide to do Oh, actually, there's the Stargate, too, and that's not as far as those other ones. Let's let's go hit the Stargate. That's what we'll do. I think I'm going to check this crate down here. Because um, these are starter area crates, it's not as big a deal as if we check them. But, yeah, I wanted to top my food off, and we'll take this, this, and that. We'll leave the rest of that stuff for now. So that way we can just head directly over to the Stargate. You know, one thing we do need, though, is... Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to drop some of this stuff up at our... Our little hut over here first, so we're not taking all of this shit over to the Stargate. That's actually, a, I think, a pretty sizable wreck, too, now that I think about it. There's several underground bunkers in the game we can explore, but I don't know that too many of those have the microchips in them that I remember. Ah, we also got the ship up in the in the labyrinth too. That's even closer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, let's put this in there. Uh, that can go in there. We don't need the aluminum right now. And we only need four iron. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's hit the Labyrinth ship first. And again, just for the microchips. Can we scrap this? I don't think we can. Uh -uh. That's one thing I wish we could do more in this game is scrap more items. It's kind of limited as to what we can scrap. And, you know, I like salvaging. I think it's fun. Here, we're going to set up a... A hut here. And let's also set down a... Blueprint screen. Okay, let's go check the... Microchips in here. Gotta jump that gap. There's a lot of, actually quite a bit of loot in here for it being a relatively small ship. Here we go. seen any small crates there we have one here good all right looks like that's it for microchips sometimes you can find them in the big crates too but uh save those for later okay here we go come on give us the four compartment thing oh we need a drink Oh, that sucks. That lamp is really lame. It doesn't give much, much light unless they improved it. Damn it, Jim. <sighs> All right, I guess we're going to the Stargate.
This looks different. That end of the Stargate was not near mountains before. So that's probably the other side of the ice fields, I'm guessing. But I don't know where the second biome is. Huh, that's very interesting. It's interesting just to see how things have changed. this being this close to the canyon either hmm. I don't know man not sure uh, let's see door and blueprint screen we need one silicon uh, I think that's one right there And by the way, yeah, I know for you more experienced players, I could, we could be a lot further ahead on the index now, but I'm not in a hurry. Uh, we, we rushed the first season so much that I'm taking my time and we're not, we're fine, you know, food wise. And so, yeah, I'm just not in a hurry. We're going to enjoy ourselves, take time to smell the flowers and we will have flowers to smell when the time comes. Uh, all right, let's go in here. And look for some more microchips. Uh, let's go left first. Can't get through that door. I guess we really can't go left so much. It's just a big crate. Yeah, I remember this area here. Here we go. That's the way back out. Let's go further in this way. There's another microchip there. Let's take this apart. Did we look? In those chests? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll grab this one. Another fusion reactor. There's a message. Room for this. Yeah, let's take that apart. Yeah, that's right. This leads into a cave with another chest at the end of it. But we'll leave that for next time. All right, well, we found two chips. Um, don't know that there are any more than those two. So let's get out of here. And uh, see what we got here. Okay, that's good. That's the new, the better flashlight. There we go. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> All right, cool. Very cool. Um, can we do the better flashlight right now? Mm, 
we need sulfur. Uh, trying to think if there's any sulfur nearby here. Um, there's a cave over that way that has some in it, but I don't know if the ice has melted yet because we haven't really done a whole lot with heat. That's right. We can we can work on that when we get back. Uh, okay, cool. So we accomplished our goal of finding that. Um, let's deconstruct that. I'm going to eat the food. I'm going to drink the water. We need to make an... We need to make an oxygen thing, and then we need to head home. Very good. Okay, so now we can start our base build the way I want to. And uh, there's the ice fields way over there. If we go this direction, we'll have to go through the canyon, but that's fine. We can do that. Looks like it's just a storm storm. Now there is a cave that goes through the canyon out back to the labyrinth, but I kind of doubt that's melted at this point. We can certainly look. Uh, we need another magnesium. Glad I checked before we were almost out of air. There's an iridium cave over against that wall. But that's uh, not something we need to do now. And as far as I know, all it has inside of it is iridium. Oh, I forgot to read the message in that ship. I was going to go back in and do it. Uh, but we'll be going back in there anyway, so we'll do it at a future date. Yes, I did see that blue crate there. There's a possibility that there's a microchip at that fighter wreck over here. Uh, no, I don't remember. Yeah, it looks like that cave is still iced in. This has uh, sulfur and osmium in it. And it will get flooded later on when the water starts coming. Since we're down here, let's go. Ju let's just go check that fighter wreck, and then we'll have to go back that way to get out of here because I don't think you can get out of here down on this end. That's where our base is going to be, right up there. That's odd. All that zigzag stuff. I don't remember that from before. It looks like a way out. All right, we'll check that out. <clears throat> this is like a fighter craft. It's pretty small compared to the other ships. And it's just got this single... Oh, yeah, there is one here. Nice. Just got this single cockpit. Uh, We don't have water on us. That's not good. I think we're going to drop an iron just because we have such an abundance of it. And... Right, okay. Yeah, that's bizarre, man. I think this is a, a pathway out of here. I don't remember this from before. But it's also all iced up, so it could be part of the ice fields biome. Let's get aired up here. All right, let's see if we can get out this way. I believe that's exactly what this is for. How about that?
Okay, we'll go lots of aluminum over here too. Hmm. Did I miss something? Yes, I did. Right here. All right. That's good to know that that's there. Very good to know. Let's head back to the base. And uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to get started with our initial build. But uh, we're not going to have time to do the whole thing in this episode. We'll, so we'll start it now and then we'll finish it up in the next episode. all that in there let's do this other this next microchip okay map information rocket we'll be doing that stuff later let's top off our food and uh, we need to make a water so let's grab an ice because we kind of broke the rules on the way back here shame on us see so we're gonna need supers to build this but fortunately we looted a whole mess of super alloy which is great I'm also gonna use foundations too because that just keeps everything you know keeps us from having potential problems with the ground so four by four just trying to think in my head how we're gonna do this We might start with two side by side. Um, so we're gonna need four supers for that. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. One, two, three, four. We're gonna need six iron and six titanium. Six iron, four titanium. I'll have to pick up some more along the way. Um, we need an extra iron, and we got the silicon for the door. We need another silicon and another iron for the tier one crafting station. And we're gonna need some iron for the foundations. Okay, we'll start with that. Uh, here, let's just drink you now and we'll make another one. We're not even going to make tier two drills at all. Uh, we're going to go right to tier three when the time comes which is going to be real quick here. All right, let's head over there. Okay, so the thing we have to be mindful of is if we ended up if we end up coming back this far with the base, which we very well could, this is kind of the high point here. We want to make sure that every structure we're putting down will clear this point. So I think what we'll do is we'll build a foundation on the high point facing east. And then 
we'll just start chaining them until uh, we get to the edge of the cliff. And as long as we stay on this level, we should never have a terrain blocking issue for our base. At least that's the theory. Um, here, let's temporarily set this down uh, right there. We're not, it's not going to stay there. It just gives us a place to pop in and get some air real quick. Okay. I think the foundations always stay on the cardinal direction, so I don't think we can um, change that. So let's hold down control so we can chain these, but I'm going to pick the ones up behind uh, as we... Oh, yeah, we're already out of iron. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, I feel some screenshots coming on, man. Okay, we'll pick all of these up. Except for you. And uh, let's keep... Whoops. Keep building back. Um... Yeah, we're probably getting close to the end of the height of these. Can we, can we stack these? I've never tried to do that. Let's get some air. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make these flush with the edge of the cliff, are we? <clears throat> Didn't think about that. Because that's due north, and that's due east. So we're right on an angle here. I don't think we I don't think we can do anything about that, though, because, again, as far as I know, we'll try it. But I don't think you can rotate those foundations. It's dark out. That one there. Okay. If I use my mouse wheel or hold control, yeah, there's no rotating these guys. They stay on the cardinal directions. The cool thing, though, is once they get back here, they're pretty much... Or damn near, anyways, touching the ground again. Hmm. Don't want to get any closer to the edge. Well, like I said, there's no, there isn't really anything I can do about it. We're just gonna have to have the base. Uh, we'll have it face east as opposed to north because there's more view that way with the planet and the stargate in the background. <sighs> All right. Fair enough. We'll make it work. down and move it closer. All 
All right, I'm going to set this. Uh, no, not that. Set that right there for the moment. All right. Uh, I think this is going to have to be at least three wide. One thing this game doesn't do, and I, I was kind of hoping they'd fix this in 1.0, but they didn't, is the dimensions of the foundations don't match the dimensions of the building, so it can really be a pain in the ass. Uh, hydration low. We got an extra thing, so we're all right there. Okay, we'll put that there. And we'll put that there. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna need a three by three to make this work. Can I do this? I cannot. I'm just trying to think if it's gonna bug me that that's floating a little bit. You know, here's the thing. We could, um, you know, we still had about a foot or so. Look, the <laughs> damn meteorite's going right where we need to go. Uh, we still had about a foot or so when I set that first foundation down on the high point out there. So we could actually pick these back up and set them flush and should still have enough clearance, I think. That debris doesn't uh, give me any grief. Yeah, I, I think we can do that. I think we can do that. So let's uh, pick these back up. So we kind of just wasted a bunch of time, but I didn't know, you know, so it is what it is. But I think we can... I'm watching you guys. Don't be coming down on my head. Um, I think we can get away with this and be fine. So what we'll do is pull that away from there. Well, actually, I think we can pick these up, too. That's still kind of in the same spot that it was before, isn't it? I've got to get it down touching the ground or it's just going to bug the hell out of me. Why are you turning red like that? Oh, maybe we can't go down lower. Yeah, you know what? I don't think we can. So it is going to have to stay there. All right, well, that's uh one of those problems that's beyond our control, so... We're not going to waste any calories worrying about it. Uh, let's go. Get some air here. And we're once again without a water. So let's go grab ourselves um, an ice really quick so we can remedy that situation. And we do need to be mindful of our food. It's getting down there, but it's we're okay for a little bit longer on that. All 
All right, now. What I'm going to do next is we're going to put you there. And you there. Okay, we need... No. Yes. All right, need a little bit more iron. Back, let's just go back towards the base so I can get some more food anyway. Okay. you in and I'm gonna do another row let's do another row super thrilled that that's going to kind of be floating in this gap, but I don't know what to do about it unless we drop the base down a level. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Okay, let's put these stairs here. All right. Now, what we're going to do is pick this up. We lost a couple of pieces there. I can't put that there and, and oh, we can stack those. Okay, good, good, good. Um, can I get it underneath though? Hmm. Uh, if I put this one down first, no, nah, it's too glitched into the ground. But you know what we can do, though? I mean, just to make it so it looks like it has support, even if we do have to pull that out a little bit, I can, I'll feel a little bit better about that. We're not going to be able to get that one in there, though, are we? What if we... Yeah. All right, well, you know what? We'll worry about that later. I actually need to set... Here, let's just set a little one down just to get some air. We'll figure it out, man. We'll figure it out. Okay, so let's go up here, and uh, I want I want to set the front of the base along this seam so we have a little porch looking out over the canyon. Um, doing this though is easier said than done. Oh. Really, game? It's not getting far enough away from me to... to set it down. I have to kind of do it, I guess, from the side, huh? That's weird. I hate these foundations. I really hate these foundations. Yeah, see, that's too far over. So, I'm probably going to have to 
futz with this a little bit till I can get it right. And it might actually be beneficial to put those there so I can kind of stand off to this side a bit. In fact, we're probably going to want these here anyway, so let's just... Well, uh, yeah, we still have enough. Let's just put these here anyway. All right, let's try this again. We want it to be right about... That looks pretty good. We can't do anything about the unevenness because, again, these foundations don't line up correctly. But it's even on this side and on this side. So one side will just have to be a little wider than the other one. Um, but I'm, I may end up putting two of these together anyway. Um, or more. Oh, we're short one iron. Uh, I do have an O2. Okay, let's see if we can find a, an iron real quick so we can make the door. I think this is an iron here, yeah. A couple of them. Ooh, that's a long way down. Oh, there's a bunch up there as well from the meteorites. Take the water. All right, good. You know, I just thought of something. We have those, we have those corner pieces too. I would like to utilize those. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We're out of time, so we're going to wrap up the episode here. And uh, we'll we'll pick up... We'll pretty much pick up right where we left off in the next episode. I want to think about this a little bit before I decide... Oh. Uh, Houston? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, those things don't damage your building. Man, that was aiming right for our head, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, yeah, I, I'm going to give this a little bit of thought, and when I kind of figure out what I want to do, I'll start the next episode and show you how it will all come together. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.